The Drug Enforcement Administration, or DEA, is warning parents about drug trafficking on social media through the use of emojis. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau joins us live in studio to explain why the Riverside County DEA says monitoring your child's social media could be the difference between life and death. Samantha. Karen, emojis are some of the things that we see every day when we're texting and they may look innocent, but a snowman, a chocolate bar and a diamond can be code for cocaine, Xanax and methamphetamine. It's why the DEA tells me it's important for parents to keep a close eye on their kids accounts. Drug dealers now, the traffickers, they're really getting sophisticated on how they communicate. Assistant special agent in charge of the Drug Enforcement Administration, Amador Martinez, tells me these emojis look harmless but could be code for a drug deal. As a parent, if I don't know that a cookie means like new batches in or big batches in, then maybe I just think that uh, two friends are talking about, hey, I love chocolate chip cookies. Popular social media apps like TikTok, WhatsApp, and Cash App or Venmo. TikTok, where these dealers advertise. But after the advertisement and the connection, the next communication is moved over to a messaging app, such as WhatsApp, the payment app, you might see payments going back and forth, but listed as something different. That's the number before Her mother of two, Christina Arthur, she's aware of the dangers on these social media apps and monitors her daughter's usage. I am constantly looking at messages, mm -hmm. looking through my daughter's phone, um, and I don't want to pry too much because I want her to be an individual. But, you know, you have to be cautious and know um, your child's triggers. Arthur shares a TikTok account with her 13-year-old daughter, Charlotte, so she can keep a close eye. In my house, we're pretty open about drug use and, um, and the dangers of it. I just feel like the more they know, the better. Mm -hmm. If you keep them under, you know, under the bridge, they're not going to understand just the dangers of drugs in general. I showed Arthur a few of the emojis on the DEA's list that are associated with specific drugs, such as a blue heart. Ecstasy. No. Meth. What? Yeah. And a banana. The DEA says it symbolizes oxycodone or Percocets. It's Percocet and oxy. What? <laughs> Arthur was shocked to see that these emojis could have an underlying meaning. It's scary that they're using these harmless emojis to, what is it, have our youth think that, hey, no big deal, it's just shooting a banana, and then you get these drugs, and they don't even realize what they're taking. It's the reason why Martinez says it's important now more than ever for parents to look out for these dangers. Why do you think this is such a serious problem? We're currently up to six out of 10 pills that are coming back as deadly pills. They have deadly doses within them. Whenever you buy any pill on social media, it's 100% guaranteed it's a fake pill. It's not prescription grade. You never know what you're getting. For a full breakdown of which drugs or terminology, terminology those emojis represent, you can always head to our website, KESQ.com, for that information. Live in studio, Samantha Mebao, News Channel 3.